In your social media platforms or trendy mobile applications, you might have seen weight loss graphs. Using time target, weight target, these show you graphs in a second. If that's what is convincing you to use the service, then I can help you create that yourself. Hello there, this is Farihat Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum templates and VBA related answers. Today our discussion will be on how to create a weight loss graph in Excel. In this blank sheet, we will add dates for every two weeks. We will also include measured weight and target weight ranges. And finally, a chart with the graph including the target lines. We will use Excel 365 for that. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. As you can see, we have our title in B2 to cell F2. In B4, let's type date. Tab in C4, measured weight. And the unit here will be pounds. Then target weight, same unit, pounds, target weight low in pounds, target weight high, also in pounds. Now these will be our column headers, but we can't see all of them. So let's increase our row height. Now from the home tab under the alignment group, click on wrap text so that the texts are auto fit within the cell. Now to add date in B5, let's type 1 October 2023. Now in B6, let's try a formula whereas our date will be 14 days after B5. And now let's use fill handle to drag it till B15. Now we get total dates of 20 weeks corresponding to 2 weeks interval. Now for measured weight, target weight and target weight low and high, we will copy the data from a dummy sheet. We will copy that using Ctrl C and paste it here using Ctrl V. There we are. Now let's click on all of them and using fill handle copy it till row 15. Now let's format our data set a little bit. Click on B4 to F15. Now from the home tab under the font group click on the borders drop down to choose all borders. For the column headers choose bold, increase font size, use fill color as this one and from the alignment group choose center alignment for them. Now it's looking better, right? Now to insert graph, click on B4 to F15 again. Go to insert tab and from the charts group, click on recommended charts. Let's move the window here. Now from the recommended charts, we can see that line chart will give us a graph like that where blue will be the measured weight and we will have our target weight low high all of them linearly like that let's go along with that beside our chart we can see chart elements we can see chart filters and chart styles let's click on chart elements here let's add axis titles so that we can add vertical and horizontal axis title. Let's add them and here type weight. Now in horizontal, it will get us date. As for chart title, it will be weight loss graph. So now we can see our graph, which is weight versus date. From here, we can change our graph styles. Here, we can choose to filter as in, let's uncheck that. And now, we won't be seeing our target weight value. 
Now we can see only the blue and yellow lines which is for measure weight and target weight. If we uncheck all of them, we can only see our measure weight value. Let's select all of them and back to our previous selection. Using this elaborate steps, you can make a weight loss graph in Excel as well. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems, free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.